Tuwezeshe kuishi kwa amani Tutimize na malengo yetu Jumuiya yetu sote tulilinde Tuajibike tuimarike umoja wetu ni nguzo yetu idumu jumuiya yetu Uzalendo pia mshikamano viwe msingi wa umoja wetu na tulinde uhuru na amani mila zetu na desturi zetu chumbia yetu sote tulilinde tuajibike tuimarike umoja wetu ni nguzo yetu idumu jumuiya yetu viwandani na hata mashambani tufanye kazi sote kwa makini tujitoe kwa hali na mali tujenge jumuiya bora jumuiya yetu sote tujilinde tuajibike tuimarike umoja wetu ni nguzo yetu idumu jumuiya yetu atupige makofi tafadhali tunawavoketi tunawapigia kama kuwashukuru viongozi kwa kuweza kufika ili kuongoza uh, kongamano hili uh, rasmi na kwanza tutaanza na maombi basi uh, ya Kiislamu tukiongozwa na Ibrahim Kobelo na kisha atafuatia Reverend Richard Monyaka Reverend Richard Monyaka atafuatia Ibrahim Kabelo tafadhali Okay, let us pray. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Arrahmanir Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. Ihdinas siratal mustaqim. Siratal ladhina an'amta 'alaihim ghayril maghdubi 'alaihim waladdallin. Amin. Asante sana Reverend Munyaka. Uh, tuamini na tuombe Baba wetu Mwenyezi Mungu katika kiti chako cha enzi tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya siku ya leo sande kwa sababu ya wema wako asante kwa sababu umekuwa Mungu mwaminifu kwetu asante kwa sababu ya viongozi wetu tukiongozwa na governor wa kaunti hii ya Kajiado bwana wa mabwana na viongozi wengine wote na jamii wa wafugaji twalishukuru jina lako na kukusifu bwana wa mabwana Tutaka pokwenda kuendelea na mkutano hii ya siku ya leo bwana tunakuuliza Mwenyezi Mungu kwa unyenyekevu ukapate kuandamana pamoja nasi hadi tamati nataka paona mwisho yake Mungu wa Israeli tutakushukuru na tutakuinua katika jina la Yesu aliye bwana na mkombosi wote na sisi wote tuseme amen Asante Asanteni sana kwa maombi ruhusa hii basi kwa heshima yake Mheshimiwa Gavana nitaomba ni mwalike katibu wa kaunti hii ambaye ni county secretary kwa lugha ya Kiingereza aje achukue ratiba hii. Asanteni sana. Asanti sana bwana MC. Your Excellency the Governor for Kajiado County. Your Excellency the Governor for Garissa Ali Korane. 
um, the county commissioner, honorable senator, your excellency, the deputy governor, former speaker of, Sen of the Senate, of the Senate, Ekwe Ethuro, uh, distinguished guests, and all protocols observed, Amjambo. Amjambo Tena. And Asuba Bogin. Mine is just to welcome the people of Kajiado and all other pastoralists. Although I know His Excellency the Governor will welcome our dignitaries today because he is the host of this Kajiado Pastoralist Forum. Mine is to welcome you and also to give just a, a small historical background on how the Kenya Pastoralist Forum was developed. After that, I will invite the chairman of the organizing committee of the Kenya Pastoralist uh, Week uh, to come and bring um, other NGOs that are present. But before that, your excellencies and honorable guests, development in Africa originated from Europe. And Africa was caught in a big dilemma because, one, when development came, Africa had its major problems. One, it was recovering from slavery, followed by colonialism and the expansive environment that the Africans found themselves. In the 16th and 15th century, there was the promotion of capitalism. Later, in the 18th century, there was industrialization. And in the 19th and 20th century, to date, there was promotion of human rights, feminism, and other theories that the locals didn't understand. Development was therefore shaped by the West, and the Cold War also affected development in Africa. Unlike Asian countries such as Japan, China, theoretical development in Africa was not original. We were just copying what other modernized countries were calling development. In this case, the, the nomadic pastoralist communities found themselves in a dilemma because there was a conflict of interest here. These communities also lived in arid and semi-arid lands. They spoke many languages, different languages, and therefore digesting the, the paradigm shift for development was a big challenge to them. In a nutshell, Your Excellencies and Honorable Guests, this is what led to the pastoralist communities in Kenya, which the Maasai, the Rendile, the Somali, the Gabra, the Borana, and other which I have not mentioned came together and started to, because there was the human rights aspect, and there was also the fight for democracy. They also said that they should come together and chat their way forward. And to, to me, I hope that the pastoralists can work with the county governments because in the onset of the new constitution in 2010, there was a formation of county governments because people wanted to chart their way forward. This is therefore one way of pastoralists coming together, sharing their uh, problems, 
sharing their achievements and trying to chart their way forward as a community because their languages have been affected due to modern, modern education, land tenure system have been affected, they used to leave communal land tenure system and now there, is, there are group ranges, there are privatization of land which has really affected our livelihoods as a pastoralist communities. This week's theme is pastoralist uh, climate smart, climate smart pastoralist week. As you all know, climate change has affected lives, especially in the past few months ago, and pastoralists man, must now come and embrace and mitigate ways, look for ways to mitigate climate change. For those few remarks, I just want to welcome all our local communities and our other uh, pastoralists from other counties. And with this, those few remarks, I take this opportunity now to bring the chairman of the organizing committee, Mr. His name is a bit, Mr. Omar Jibril, to take over from there. So welcome, welcome Mr. Chairman. Your Excellencies, Governor Olilinku of uh, Kajiado County, Governor Ali Korane of Garissa County, the County Commissioner, the Deputy Governor, members of Parliament, and members of Senate who are present, members of the County Assembly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the Kenya Pastoralist Week. And because it's the Pastoralist Week, I think the common pastoralist language is Kiswahili. Uh, wageni rasmi, tumewashukuru sana kwa kufika siku ya leo. Kwa sababu sisi kama wafugaji, tunaendesha mambo yetu kwa kuasiliana, kuangalia bile maisha yetu itakuwa, mifugo yetu itakuwa namna gani, ni nini natusumbua, tuta... Uh, Tujadiliane ndo tupate uh, kuona vile tunaweza kujiendeleza. Ndiyo maana ya Kenya Pastoralist Week ni wiki ya kila mwaka mara moja wafugaji wakuje pamoja waonge, wajadiliane waone bile dunia inabadilika sisi pia tutaweza ku, uh, kubadilika namna gani. Na kwanza na shukuru wale wote wame wezesha hii hafla kuwa uh, kukamilika vile hiko, haikuwa kazi raisi, na tunashukuru, nashukua nafasi hii kushukuru governor Olelenku, kwa sababu alitupatia uh, ile yote tulihitaji, ili i, 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 uh, uh, shere ikue ya fanaka sana. Tume kushukuru sana abwana governor, kwa sababu yale yote muna yona, ni investment ya, ya, ya county ya uh, government of Kajiado. In fact, hakuna mtu ingine yote. Sisi sasa tumelete tu, tumekucho pamoja. Kama vijana tumesema wacha ifanyike. Lakini ime, ime udumiwa na county government. Na tumeshukuru. Hafla hii ni marambili. Kuna... Kenya Pastoralist Week, na Asal Stakeholders Forum National uh, Annual General Meeting. Nikianzia Asal Stakeholders Forum, kwa sababu mambo ya ASF, I mean uh, Kenya Pastoralist Week, Chairman ako hapa, na pia Semiride, ambao walikuwa wana saidia ifanyike kila mwaka, watazungumzia. So wacha nizungumzia kidogo tu mambo ya Asal Stakeholders Forum. Kama mbunafio jua, wakati eh, tulikuwa na wizara ya Northern Kenya, vitu mingi imefanyika. Watu labda walikuwa nafikiria project mingi kila mahali. Ilikuwa meakatano, 
na investment wale walikuwa bunge kama uh, uh, rafiki yangu uh, ekwe udhuru anajua investment ya hiyo wizara ilikuwa kidogo lakini ile investment wamefanya ni investment ambayo sahi inatakana sisi yote tukungana tunaweza kujiendeleza wamefanya kasi mingi ya bande ya sheria na sheria kuna sheria moja ilikuwa inatunyanyaza sana ilikuwa inaitwa sessional paper number no. 10 1965 hiyo iwalibadilisha tukapata sessional paper number no. 12 2012 number no. 8 2012 na tuka saa hiyo ndio tumepata vision 2030 annex in fact hatukua kwa vision 2030 now we have annex yeah the 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 vision for the assals now tukapata sasa assal policy kwa ile assal policy ndio imesema kwa mara ya kwanza 2012 imeona hao watu wafugaji si watu maskini ina wanataka tu sasa ile mbangilio mzuri ndio waweze kuendeleza maisha yao na ili hiyo policy iwe implemented kuna institutions mingi imefanywa kuna cabinet subcommittee ambao angalia maslahi ya pastoralist na, na wafugaji na wale watu wa azals kulikuwa na principal secretaries level another committee tuko na azal donor group tuko na wizara ambayo inahusika kuna ile kitu inaitwa azal transformation institutions NDMA ni moja yao na tunawashukuru sana wamefanya kazi mzuri Naconec Northern 